Hello, welcome to Truncali Guitars. My name is Frank. And today I'm going to share with you the way I make a poured resin pick guard. This is a good project for somebody who wants to control the color, design their own shape, and likes the look of a casted resin finish. Make an accurate one-to-one -one scale drawing of the pick guard you want to make. I use the computer, but if you're more comfortable using a pen and paper, then that's fine too. I like to cut out a copy to make sure I'm happy with how it will look on the instrument. Transfer your pick guard drawing to your platen material. Plexiglass, or this plastic marine board like I'm using, makes a good casting platen. Be sure to use a virgin factory surface. I use contact adhesive to attach my drawing to the board. Cut and shape your plastic to the form of your pick guard. Keep the edges square. And scrape smooth or sand to 400 grit. Double sticky back tape a small block of wood to the underside of your platen raising the edges off the tabletop so that the liquid resin can flow off. Remove the protective cover from your plastic and lightly coat with paste wax on the front and sides. Working with resins can get messy really quickly and chemicals in resins pose health risks. So follow the manufacturer's guidelines for safe handling. Have all your tools and materials assembled. Keep things clean. A clump of dust mixed into your resin will cause an imperfection on the surface of your casting. And finally, level your casting platen. I'm using a high quality marine epoxy for my resin. Be extra diligent not to mix air into your resin. Divide the resin into three equal parts. Add your tint or color accent to the resin. I've chosen realistic tortoise colors of amber, red, and dark brown. If you have a vacuum tank, now would be a good time to decast your resin for five to 10 minutes. This is the point where you will have to work with the chaos of the universe. Go with the flow. I was striving to achieve a fire stripe pattern. The viscosity of the material determines how thick the resin gets before it breaks the surface tension of the edge. I try to keep my pour on the thin side. Remember, you're working with fluid dynamics here. The more you manipulate the liquid resin, the more your colors mix together. Craft, artistry, and luck are at play here. It generally takes a few tries to get something I'm happy with. Applying heat with the heat gun will reduce the viscosity of the resin. Excess resin can just flow over the edge of the platen. This is one way to control thickness. Here you can see the heat gun pushing around the liquid resin. Air bubbles will work their way to the surface. A fine mist of acetone will reduce the surface tension and allow trapped gas to escape. Acetone mist also helps the surface to flow and smooths out imperfections. But don't overdo it. Your pattern gets muddy and the pick guard too thin. Let the resin cure for 24 hours. After the resin cures, the pick guard peels off the platen easily. Ta -da. 
Newly casted epoxy pick guard should have the blush washed off with soap and water. Once double sticky back tape is applied and trimmed to the pick guard, it's ready to install. There you go. So I'm happy with the way the pick guard turned out and I hope you learned something today and feel confident enough to make your own poured resin pick guard. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, frank at Truncali Guitars.